Hello everyone, hope you are doing good and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll discuss about array chunks. What it does basically, it splits an array into chunks. While splitting array into chunks, it takes three parameters. First one is the array you want to split. Second is size, the number of elements you want. And third one is preserve key. It takes true or false. Like if you want the main array key to be preserved, then it takes true and if you don't want to preserve the main array key then you can set it to false let me show you first i'm going to write an array let me take an input array equals array then like a b i'm taking a string array c and take five elements then i'm just showing you print ones input array so the array is printed like same. Now let me just add it array chunk. First, I'm going to pass input array as first element is array. Then I'm going to take size. So I'm going to pass two. And let me take it in a variable output array. And I'll print that output array. Now let so array is split into chunks so basically there it's created three array first one of two elements second also two elements but the last one is having only one element now let me add tree to it for better understanding as it's not readable properly right now so i have added now pre and let's refresh the chrome so there you can see now it's more readable and it's having five elements and in chunk it created three with to two array and last one is having one now now have a look at the keys the keys for the inner array have been changed now it's zero one zero one so let me add to the third argument that it takes array chunk and now let's see by refreshing now look all the keys are same as the main array now i'm making it an associative array so i'm adding them some states name delhi mumbai bangalore Indore, and pune so basically it works same for the associative array as well now let me pass a numeric key and if i check it also work fine with the numeric key now i'm passing the array which was partially chunked again for an array chunk now let's see how it works so if i'll check in the chrome it works fine now let me display output array also so if i refresh the first one is having two two elements but the second one is having all three in one like one element of an array and let me just give size different one and add one more element go to it and refresh so now it's three three but if i'll see in the second one it created two element with the one one element of upper array now let me pass an array in this now let me remove the second chunk array and i am passing the array in the main itself like array inside array then i am taking three elements in it and i am changing the size to two now let's see how it affects so the complete array is taken as the array one element and also in the chunk it created a element itself now second thing is that how you roll back the effect of the array chunk so for that you need a function call user function array that will receive two arguments first one is the type like array merge and second one is the array you want the rollback of it so let's apply it so let's see the results how it works so in the chrome if you will see that the that the array that is chunked the zero and one element is again rolled back to the same as the first array we sent for the chunk 
we can also roll back using array merge function for that let me write array merge and then i need three dots that is a slapped operator and that this is used for merging an array so it will also give the same effect as of call user function array so let's see it in chrome in chrome you can see it's actually give us the same result so in this video we have learned how to use array chunk and also roll back to the same function thank you so much for watching